Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. It's too early. <laughs> Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Scorpio Love Tarot reading. Scorpio Love reading. And as is often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Scorpio Love Messages reading. Scorpio, I am channeling for you in June 2023. And you could be here in June 2023, of course. You could also be here many months, even years later. This is a faded connection between you and I. You are here for a reason, whether that's in real time, months, even years later. There is something here for you. I'm happy you're here. Thanks for joining me. Down in the description, you will find all the decks that come in. I will link them. You will also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person. Love tarot readings for all signs, which you'll know if therefore you are not. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long in-depth twin flame readings below as well. So feel free to explore. Please remember, these are general readings, so take what is for you and let the rest go. I need to fix my sweater. <laughs> I would like to ask you at this time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This helps the channel so much more than you know to grow and keep me, keep things moving here so that I can continue to bring you readings. So thank you so much for that. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Nine of Wands in reverse. Wow. Okay. The Five of Swords in reverse in the partnership placement. It's Venus and Aquarius energy. Somebody here really wants to make peace. What's going on? Because they love you and you love this person. It's Gemini energy. And of course, the planet of love, Venus. Archangel Raphael is here for healing and fixing what's broken. So this is very clearly a no contact and or in separation reading. This is where your person's energy is the strongest your someone, your specific person, maybe somebody who's coming up today here for you. This is where it's the strongest. And we can see that there's some headbutting going on, some power struggles perhaps. The love is still there. You're right here. This is twin flame energy. This is also soulmate energy. And can this be coming back together? Let's see. Because it can be, but we can see that your person ran and this is no contact and or in communication. The Nine of Wands, this is the moon in Sagittarius and it's in reverse. So this is also telling us that some walls are being put down. There's a more vulnerable energy here. Is that with you? Is that with your person here? I will say that's pretty harsh, the Five of Swords. So some things might have been said here that were really not very kind. But, you know, not communicating is also not, not a nice thing. And it's coming in the reverse here. They're wanting to make amends. And I also feel bringing some kind of truth. What is that? The Eight of Cups is looking right over here. So this is someone who may have ghosted you, but did leave you feeling like they don't love you. They're looking right at the Five of Swords in reverse, knowing, knowing that they need to make peace. Was, were there some arguments for some of you, maybe in real time, are you having some arguments? Whatever the case is, I do feel apologetic energy here. It's quite strong. This is Saturn in Pisces energy. It's a, a vulnerable energy here, putting those walls down. Yeah. It's the Eight of Swords in the upper right. So one just went flying. It spun around. It spun around. It's a spinner. Picking it up. This is how it, how it came down. 
but I know it was spinning because I saw it spinning. It's the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Is somebody getting inspired here? Because there's a vulnerable energy and there is this somebody who's getting the urge, I feel like, to connect because they love you and they're looking right at what they need to do. So I feel like, yeah, well, this is making amends energy. Who's the stuck energy here? Are they still stuck? Maybe, because I don't feel like it's moving yet. It's the Eight of Swords in the upright. You might also both be here for different reasons. This is Jupiter and Gemini energy. And Jupiter, of course, is, well, it's the planet of expansion, prosperity, growth, you know, moving forward. But this is also Gemini, and that's all about communication. So it's communicating where you're going or where you want to go in the connection. You know, wanting more. And there's a stuck energy. So I do feel that coming from this person. I also feel like they're wriggling out of this. So when we bring in another deck, maybe it's going to be coming here in reverse. It is, a, it's a wobbler for me. <laughs> it's kind of doing this because they're here, but there's some thought process going on and it could be that it's this and then it's shoo, and it's coming over here and they're coming in leading with their heart. That's the Ace of Wands. And hello, by the way, if you're in New York. Right here, catty corner. Look, they're both looking over here. It's almost like their ego versus their higher self, you know? Because, yeah, their higher self wants to, to, to get unstuck here because there's a real vulnerable energy in this Nine of Wands in reverse, because that's an energy of really keeping up some walls, you know? And it can be too that you're starting to, maybe you're, you're starting to feel like you wanna hear from your, this person or talk to this person again, because we see that you love them too. This is a, this is a deep love. And there's a choice here that's coming in I mean, we see that. We know that. It's the lover's card. It's Archangel Raphael. We know that too. Here for healing and helping to fix what is broken. Also fertility and new beginnings. So is this starting again? Or is this coming back together to fix what's broken? To make amends? To make peace? Yeah, about what happened. Because I feel like it's somebody who was afraid to go to another level, you know, may not have been answering, communicating very well, lack of communication, emotional availability, clarification, maybe even some lies. Let's see. There's nothing clearly here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the Ten of Wands in reverse here with the lover's card. This is wanting forgiveness. This is wanting a new start. This is wanting to, here's the thing. There's two things going on here. Hoping that you forgive them and there's a chance that you can overcome it and leave behind what happened. But I also feel you here today. There's a lot of alignment but you're in, in your energies, but for different reasons. This is Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So, so I feel like that you have been, you might still be in the upright and that's carrying it around, you know, the stress of it. It's just a lot. It's your heart. It's the energy of love here and waiting because this is Jupiter energy which of course is also bringing in Pisces energy, which is quite emotional because Pisces and Sagittarius share, share Jupiter. <laughs> they share a planet. And that's the planet of expansion, prosperity, wisdom and growth. What you've been waiting for here as they're stuck in Jupiter and Gemini energy, communicating what they want, not communicating at all. And you're just here, you might still be here, waiting. They're, I think they're out here. They're coming out here wanting forgiveness and a new start. But here's the thing. It's a minor arcana. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. Everyone has free will. And if you're making the decision that, okay, you want to make peace too, but you want to keep moving on, maybe this is you, maybe moving on. 
that won't be for everyone. Maybe it's put a pin in it for later. For some of you, this might be a twin flame journey and that's something else altogether. Detachment, you know, not waiting around for a message, having a realization what's going on. Not everybody's on a twin flame journey. And of course, this is not a twin flame reading. There's lots down there, by the way, if you're resonating or you just want to go check them out. But that might be yours. And even if you're not, you know, some of you might be saying, yeah, I'm considering that. Or, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm coming unstuck now. And that's the inspired action for me. I'm putting these down and I'm moving on. I'm taking one last look. Maybe. It's, it's sort of 50-50 for me, I have to say. And you can see you're both in the energy. It's a validation for me with the catty corner here with the lover's card. Because somebody, it's sort of like waiting for a message, waiting for someone to say sorry. Well, they want to say sorry. They're hoping you forgive them. It has been a real period of uncertainty. There have been power struggles. It's really clear here with the hangman energy, the major arcana. It's where you go to work things out, you know, and it's in reverse here. So there's a little bit, and it feels like a spinner. And it's also some past energy of... Maybe some selfish energy. This person who was not being honest, who left the connection. What was it? Fear? Was it too much? Were they afraid of commitment? Whatever it was, whatever it is, I should say. I do feel like things are moving again, but that's been inactive. They've been indecisive. There have been power struggles for sure. It's an only time will tell energy. It's been very uncertain. So it can be if they're not getting here fast enough to make this amend to apologize quite literally here. This is make amends and apologizing to you. Wanting to leave it behind. Are they wanting a new start? I feel that. But it could also simply be just to, maybe some of you have connections with friends and family, maybe even children that won't be for everyone that connect you. Either way, I feel like it's genuine, you know, that they've really been trying to work on it. They're having a hard time, I will say. There is some strong emperor energy here, you know, an, an overabundance because that emperor has that onk, divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So there's a little been a little bit of overabundance, amigo, you know, but they love you. <laughs> you know, this is someone you love that loves you, but we also know that that's not always meaning, ever, that doesn't always mean that Okay, everybody's coming back together, you know? We know that. This is Pisces energy, by the way, the hangman. I feel drawn to look under the deck, and I'm just not surprised. I think I might have to keep it. I'm hearing that it belongs in the reading. It's the two of swords in reverse. That's the moon and Libra. This person has been confused, indecisive. There's an overload here because they're really... Looking back here also at how they were behaving, I feel like some truths and lack of clarity, lack of truths, lack of communication that, that was going on, realizing it, not feeling great about it, reversed here, coming out of the Ten of Wands, hoping you forgive them because this is making amends. I feel like they're coming in here to make amends. Is there going to be a message? Maybe. You know, the lowest card is Gemini energy and that's really communicative energy. And it's also connected, of course, to Mercury because that's Gemini's ruling planet. And so it can be that there's a message coming in here, hoping you forgive them, maybe to, to allow you to move on if you want. Maybe it's something more. We're, we're going to bring in more. We're going to bring in another deck as well, Scorpio. But the two of swords in reverse. You know, did they make a decision that when they weren't clear? Yeah, I think so. Not talking saying things they shouldn't have said, untruths, not being clear, whatever the case it may be, it could have been that they made it, also that something got made for them. But it's also a little bit of a spinner for me because I feel like there's a little bit of the stuck energy too, you know, and that they're still trying to kind of grasp it all because you can see them looking back. I feel like it's, yeah, it's kind of three of wands energy, you know, it's, that's, the sun and Aries energy. It's thinking about how to move forward. But I feel move forward toward you. So is it just a message or is it more? Yeah. So this we're keeping. 
And I want to show you what else has come through here. It's the Six of Cups. So this is why. So this is someone that you might have known for a really long time. It can be, yeah, for some of you, childhood. It's not going to be for everyone. And it's not always chronological years. Sometimes that is just the feeling that you've known them forever. Twin flame energy, past life energy. So connection. They're thinking about when things were good and working, but also here. This is the regret that we see because there is a lot of regret. They're looking back. They want to make amends with you. You know, it could be that's all you guys are going to do here is make amends. Maybe it's more. What do you want, Scorpio? Are you for, are you wanting to forgive this person? Because this is also, look, of course, it's the six of cups and there's the five. They're all muted colors. And that's your energy, Scorpio. That's the moon in Scorpio. And that's... Look, they're also looking here and they're feeling the loss. They have regret. They regret abandoning you. I feel ghosting you, some of you, making you feel like they don't love you. This reunion energy in here. So it can be that it's a message. It can be even in person. What is everyone going to do? You have free will. Your person has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will. They do change. The future is not fixed. So... One decision one day could be one could be something else another day. But this is the regret that I was feeling where they're looking over here at it, knowing that they need to make amends because they have a lot of regret. A lot of regret because I think you, when this ended or if you're with somebody even and the communication is bad or there's issues, whatever happened here, I do feel like you've been questioning, well, do you, did you even love me? Regardless of where this can go, this person wants you to know that, yeah, I did. I loved you and I still love you. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. But even then, you know, this is tarot. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. What wants to come through? It's the king of wands in the upright. Yeah, this is somebody coming through. Again, is it a message? Is it in person? It's the king of wands. It's a very bold, courageous energy. And look, leading with your heart with a rose. Is that an offer? Is that a peace offer? Because we see it here. Or is there more behind it? It's love there. You know, it's passionate energy too. And they know what they're coming for. So we need to bring in some more. That's, of course, bringing in the sun energy, Leo. God, goddess, the universe, the divine, connecting here quite literally with messages from spirit, wanting to rise above also the, con the conflict within themselves to come here. That's, yeah, that's an infinity symbol, twin flame energy, but that's also a, an infinity symbol, which is forever love. So it's someone maybe that you've known for a long time or you thought you'd end up with, or maybe you were, that was interrupted, whatever the case may be. And that's also bringing in Justice, which I felt was maybe going to come today. Let's see. Libra energy, that's the solution and that's the truth. So whatever that's going to mean. And that's also an action number. That's mastering something, accomplishing something. It's an action. And we see that there's an inaction here. And then the actions that have happened, they regret. There's a lot of regret and I feel this Eight of Swords today <laughs> in some weird way. Like, it wants me to come over and go, let me help you come out. It's very odd. Okay, so this is what is revealing itself below. It's the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this has been, yeah, I've been feeling really let down, disappointed, some depression around it, some sadness around it. I mean, obviously that, that comes with the Eight of Cups, you know, unfortunately. You can see that here. But I feel like it's in alignment too because they have a lot of regret. And there's a love here. For some of you, this contract that you have might be legal. It's not for everyone, but it's a soul contract. It's someone that at some point in time, whether it's still true for you or not, you feel like saw you and that you saw into each other, that you were 
meant to meet, for what reason is that? That someone who's just always kind of there, you know, in your energy, I want to say, or in your heart. So it's really disappointing because they're looking here at the Five of Cups. I mean, they're, they're standing on the Sixth Cup, you know, and that's the nostalgia, thinking about when things were working and easier. And I feel that what they want to bring to you here in this reunion energy is some peace, a peace offering and an apology. Could it be more? Maybe. This can be an unexpected love offer. Can be. Let's see. We don't see it here in the Ace of Cups, but that's also connecting to what happened. Were you planning to get married? Were you married? Were you talking about families? Whatever that means for you, you know, bringing in to the family. We can also see that it's not healing. Those lotus flowers, there's six there. That's connecting us to healing and restoring balance and harmony with another person. And it's in reverse. That's the thing. Will it come back? Look what else. Okay, so these are all here. This is how it is. This is how it's one of those readings that wants to be somewhat bottom up. We're going to turn it and channel after this and then check another deck, Scorpio. It's the Hierophant in reverse. So yeah, this was a big reason, I feel, of these obstacles because it came together. This is all coming together here. The disappointment, the feeling let down, the obstacles and the challenges. Was somebody playing games? Maybe for some of you, but obstacles and challenges here. And this is also still here for them, you know, in this Two of Swords energy. And what also put the Hierophant in reverse. This is more Divine Masculine energy. And because I really feel the Emperor energy here, and this is also here. And this is a card of marriage or commitments. It's not always going to be legal contracts, you know. Long-term energies. Whether you're together or not, the feeling of connecting to someone, the soul contract, someone you're separated from, someone you're with, it's long-term energy. It's a, it's either a visual contract or one you can't see, you know, unspoken. Just a connection. That's what I want to say. And it's in reverse. So we know that here in, in particular with the lover's card, the major arcana, and also the hangman in reverse is a little bit of selfish energy of them not working on things and how disappointing that's been. They're trying to get over these challenges, I feel, really to make peace. Could it be more? Let's put the Hierophant down. Yeah, and we're gonna stop here and then I'm gonna see if anything wants to come in and then we're gonna bring in another deck. It's the Page of Cups, so they're not sure. It's an offer, it's the Page of Cups, it can be. It can be, okay? Infinite possibilities. For me, this is making something work that wasn't working. So it can be. In this cup can also be, look, it's the shark energy. Interesting, isn't it? Because the page of cups, now it can be that somebody is younger and more and immature, but it's not always going to be the case about chronological years. For me, it's an energy sort of, of, you know, kind of like an apprentice energy and not being sure, but really wanting, because they're looking over here. Looks like they have something in their beak right next to this shark. It's kind of funny, but what I'm also feeling is this is sort of almost like devil energy in a way for me today. <laughs> it's kind of like connecting with what has gone on, what they need to address here. So there's a little bit of fear, that's what I want to say, a little bit of like not sure how to come because it looks really like, well, yeah, I feel it too. It's It's been really hard and it's been harsh too. There's some harsh things said or I could also tell you because that does come through, not said. You know, this connection that sometimes you really know and they're not admitting it. That's what I'm hearing right now. But this is rising above that. Spirit is literally sending your person this message. I'm going to keep this here. We don't have an overall energy yet. That happens sometimes. It might still come in another deck or maybe love messages. Maybe not. Let's see. My favorite soul deck. It's in German. If you're a regular, you know. And don't worry you know, I'll tell you what's here. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, might, might, we might get validations here. Things might be in another direction. There might be things throwing us off, completely off course. Sometimes I've gone through a reading and then the last 20 minutes is, you know, I want to marry you. <laughs> so you really never know. Let's see what is going on. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Actually, let's move the energy around a little. Well, that's here. Okay, so that wanted to come out, and I, I, have, I feel like this is also wanting to come out. Yeah, it's the Four of Swords in reverse. This is Jupiter and Libra energy, and this is after the Three of Swords, the heartbreak, the loss, the sadness we see here. And this is the restless energy. So it's where you go after. You can see that there are the Three Swords. Looks a lot like lava, doesn't it? Looks like lava coming down from a mountain. And laying here, you might still be here, waiting for the truth, clarification, trying to figure out what to do. You know, it's where you go to, it's the separation really in many ways, after the breakup or the loss. What is that for you? So you might be here waiting, okay? Maybe not, you might already be out. Your person is here and I feel like coming out. And that's a restless energy ready to act here. There is a, I feel an internal struggle within them and that's the, that's the four, excuse me, the five of wands here because that's the truth that they're struggling with. Why, why? is it admitting some hurtful things, lies, lack of communication, what else here? Because it's, it's a disappointing energy, you know, whatever happened. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio, you're here. Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius as well. Something went on in this connection that changed things for you that I feel like you haven't really let go of. This is, you were fated to meet, it's clear. You were destined to meet. I do feel like this is a new start. Whatever that new start is for you, it's here. Your destinies are intertwined. Some of you might have families together. That's not for everybody. There's nothing here to support that, but I heard that message, so I need to bring it through. And interesting because you feel like you've known your person forever. And again, some of you may have. Here we see that in the Six of Cups energy, but that's bringing in that soul connection. It's real strong. It's just that when you meet, you know, feeling like they see you, the, soul, the soulmate connection. It's when you see each other. And, you know, soulmates, we have many soulmates, romantic or otherwise, and yeah, they're coming in to help us reach goals, teach us lessons, connect us to thoughts, actions, you know, people. This is spinning that wheel of fortune now. It's always spinning. It's always a spinner for me. This is... Things are really changing in this connection, Scorpio. What you're planning to do with that, if this simply means talking again, maybe it's meaning something more. Are they working on coming? Are they working on themselves? Hello. That, <laughs> I just noticed the camera. I think I caught it in time. So the Eight of Pentacles just came down. It's the Sun in Virgo. Working on themselves, I feel, yeah looking to see that you're there because this is the six of pentacles and you take that pentacle here you and that makes the seven and that's that energy of that taurus energy the venus and taurus energy here because of course the seven of pentacles is here and the six we see it of not being sure what you want to do because you've been waiting and waiting for an outcome you know you've been patient and maybe thinking about not being here you know, moving on. That energy did come through strong for some of you here in the Eight of Cups. It might even be for all of you, but you're just not sure. And you're also in that Two of Swords in reverse, you know, confused, a little indecisive because you love this person clearly. They're checking that you're still there, that you haven't flipped that Seven of Pentacles over. They're working, I feel like, as fast as they can, divine, divine timing. And that Six of Pentacles, that's a reciprocal giving energy, the moon in Taurus. Yeah. Okay. 
I feel like, <laughs> look, I feel like, felt like that I wanted to look at one more. It's another bottoms up energy here. And then we're going to bring in some love messages. This is a wake up energy. So what what is this that they're offering? I, I really feel like making men's an apology. They really do want forgiveness. They're working things. I think they're working on things in their life too. As far as an offer, it could very well be there's something big going on here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Lover's Card. This can be an unexpected love offer. Is that love offer humility and apologetic energy? Because we see that here also in the Knight of Wands. You know, this is a leading with the heart. And it's a little, it's like kind of a white horse, beige horse. It's some humility, apologetic energy, wanting to push through their obstacles, I feel. But also some emotions that are coming up for them because they're really looking back here, wanting to make amends and apologize. They're waking up. Is this decision something, an offer they want to make? Maybe. It's the judgment card, by the way. Here in chairman, you're both here. This is getting clarity. It's making a, a decision what they want in their life, their life purpose, because we see here that they ran or they stopped something. If you were in it or they didn't offer it or they took an offer back or disconnected, whatever they did, they were in the Eight of Cups here. And it's spinning because it's the reversal energy for me today of them coming back in here. What are they going to offer? Is it only an apology? Is it more? Maybe. It might be more. In any case, this is really strong for me. It does feel more like a message. And I would say to you writing, but that's probably archaic. <laughs> so more like SMS, email, social media, that sort of thing. But look, you know, these rocks here, I always forget the name of them, but you put them, a lot of things they're for actually, but you put them on the trail, you know, and if you think of your connection with your person, as going off on a journey, like if you're taking a walk together, there's a lot of communication going on. And if things are a little discord and things aren't going well, sometimes um, it's nice to, to have those, my, those markers that you put on the trail that show you to find your way back. Oftentimes why people do that. And that's what's going on here in the judgment. It's sort of bringing this person back to, hey, what did, what did you want and what do you want? You know, not to play around here. Because this apologetic energy is strong and, you know, you can hold on to things when people hurt you, Scorpio. I mean, this is, your energy is all over the table here in their energy as well. So this is like, are you, th is this what you want energy? And that's what it is. That's the, that's it. And I'm, I'm closing the reading or bringing in love messages. That's the overall energy. It's really, what, what do you want? Figure it out. Don't, you know, if you're coming here with that, what, is this an apology or is it more? If it's more, is this what you want? Because, yeah, it's somehow, I don't know, this apology here, I feel like you're kind of on the fence. You know what I mean? They're leading with their heart here. I'll tell you, and they've got spirit right there with them, getting them here, getting them to you is what I want to say. Scorpio. I'm going to keep the deck here. I'm going to put up the Ace of Cups and let's bring in some messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. Channeled love messages. What do you want to say to your Scorpio? I feel so much guilt for what I did. connecting here with me for the ace of cups the disappointment yeah so that's connected around too you know some long-term energy you know incoming things that were going to come into the connection possibly again engagements marriage moving in talking taking things to another level maybe you were already there but it's it's in reverse so they have a lot of guilt I want to talk, but I am afraid I still can't offer enough. So that's what they're still struggling with here. 
I mean, Archangel Gabriel is screaming it out, you know? It's the angel for messages. It's the herald of visions. It's bringing everybody together for the greater good. And that's the Pluto energy. That's the, the energy of when things have been knocked down by fire, you know? It's bringing in a little bit of tower energy and it's knocking it down and it burns and then it, it simmers and then it's, everything's clear again and the ground regenerates. That's the Pluto energy here. So this is a, is there a chance for this connection coming from the dark into the light, the duality, the balance and coming back? It's possible. Or are you coming together and closing it? Whatever the case may be, you love each other. It's clear. It's a really deep feeling, I feel like, in your gut, you know? And there is some coming together here and restoring harmony, but how far are you taking that? Everyone has free will. Come to me in my dreams. I'll kiss you there. It's connecting with the Six of Cups. That's too many. I'm so sorry I lied to you. Yeah. That's been really strong. I feel like it belongs here with the Five of Swords in reverse. But I'm putting it here. Next to the kind of vulnerable energy. And also coming out of... This is sort of a coming out of isolation feeling too. The Nine of Wands in reverse. It makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. This is also yours. I wish I could see you in person. I saw someone that looked like you. It felt like you were here. I am sending you a message. Yeah. This is really, this is really, for me, what I feel is coming through here today. Where that's going to lead, it's unexpected, you know what I mean? It's it's um, not clear because everyone has free will here and I feel you kind of like this, you know? Tearing. Did we see the Four of Cups here? The energy's here if we didn't, so <laughs> it's here. I feel like you're in that energy. We have a deep soul connection, yeah. Actually, yeah, I think I want to put it here with the six of six of cups. Sun and Scorpio energy. Sometimes I imagine just packing up and coming to you. Yeah, we see that here. You know, and if this is someone and, and you're here in this reading and you feel this is this is definitely my reading, but I'm with my person or or we're having these issues, but we live near each other, or even in the same house. This is also just moving forward because we can see that they're struggling with that, but we also see that they know that. They're looking right at it from the Eight of Cups at the Five of Swords in reverse. It's clear. Things are changing here, you know? I don't understand why I'm so connected to you. That Six of Cups, this is coming out. I think it's the last one. So interesting, did you notice I sent a message? So it can be that they're part of that working things out too is working on a message for some of you. Maybe one came through and they deleted it or unsent it. In any case, it's here. Scorpio, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading. I would be really grateful liking readings, watching them, subscribing, sharing them if you're inspired. These are things that really help the Tarot Closet to grow so that I can continue bringing you readings. So thank you so very much. I'm sending you love and light. Have a beautiful day and I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye Scorpio!